What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. And just a quick little review for Free Guy, starring Ryan Reynolds. Also starring Lil Ray Harry. He's Ryan Reynolds' friend, best friend within the film. You might recognize him from, uh, if you have Hulu, Vacation Friends with John Cena. Can't recommend that film enough. Absolutely worth checking out. Jodie Comar is in this film, as well as Taika uh, Watiti. Now, this film, how does it look? Looks great. The HDR, everything, the darks, the lights, everything pops really well with how it should look within this film. It's, that, it's honestly one of the best presentations that I've seen recently on 4K. And the Dolby Atmos, the sound, everything is really just clicks perfectly within this film. Now, that is the front, and that is the back, and on the inside, same cover, same back, our Ultra HD disc, as well as our Blu-ray. Now, just a little description on the back of the film. Ryan Reynolds stars in this action-packed comedy as a bank teller who discovers he's actually a background player in, a non in an open-world video game and soon decides to become the hero of his own story. Now, he's basically, he's an NPC. He's a non-playable character within this open-world game. And everything is always the same for him. You know, it's the same, you know, routine every single morning. But on this one particular morning, he runs into Jodie Comar's character. Now, she's actually one of the multiplayers, one of the pe live people who come in and is playing this game. There is a reason, though, why she's in this game. Not so much to play, but she's trying to uncover something. Taika Waititi, he is the villain of this film. He has actually stolen the idea. The idea that, you know, her, along with a friend of hers, came up with an idea. Not so much for the actual game that they're playing, but just for the idea. The AI that's within this game and certain things that are within this game. And she wants to try to find out and, and prove that Taika Waititi has stolen this idea. And that's basically, that's the premise of this game. So, Ryan Reynolds' character, his name is Guy. He is become, he's becoming more self-aware. The AI is becoming more self-aware within him. And, you know, now he's being able, instead of doing the same routine, he's off doing all these other, all the things that the actual live players would be doing, he's doing within the game. So, most people think that this is just somebody, another, you know, another human player. But they not. But it's not. And eventually, they do find out later on in the film that the AI, you know, has become self-aware and that he's actually, you know, some you know character within the game. But, like I said, this film, I don't want to say too many things about, you know, the other things that go on within the film. But it's just a lot of fun. It, it really is. Jodie Comar, she is the love interest for Ryan Reynolds' character within the film. He just falls head over heels for this character. But another reason. But you're going to find out exactly why he is, you know, upon seeing her for that first time, why is he just instantly, you know, just head over heels for her. There is a reason. There's something that another, you know, within the real world, something is going on that, you know, will play out throughout the film. But there are, you know, if you've seen some clips, you know, on YouTube for this film, you know that Ryan Reynolds, in you know, in the particular parts of the film, does come across another version of himself, but it's a jacked up muscular version of himself. You know, his face has been photoshopped onto this big muscular body. And it is just, they call the guy Dude. That's his name. It's Dude. Dude versus Guy. It's Ryan Reynolds versus his alternate version of himself. And uh, I, I cannot, I'm, there are two particular things that happen when these two collide that I don't want to spoil if you haven't seen the film because I loved it. Absolutely loved it. And like I said, the comedy is good. It, comedy is good. It's not, you know, it's not going to be, it's not the greatest comedy of all time. But it's still a really solid comedy, especially if you like Ryan Reynolds. He's just Ryan Reynolds through and through. You know exactly what to expect with films that he's in. But this film, you know, you know, when I first saw the trailer for it, I was like, you know, is this going to work? You know, it wasn't really something that was really, you know, I wasn't getting my, you know, getting my hype up for this film. But now that I've seen it, you know, I had a chance to sit, the other, sit down the other day, watch it with my youngest daughter because she had seen some clips on YouTube for it. And she wanted to watch it, too. And I'm like, you know what? Let's check it out. And I'm so glad that we did. It was definitely, you know, I might be a little big on some of the story because there's a lot of things that happen. There's some, you know, surprise characters that show up, you know, other actors that show up within the film. And I don't want to spoil things because if you haven't seen, if you know, you if you haven't really seen or heard, you know, exactly who shows up in the film, you're going to be surprised. And like I said, there's certain things, that, other things that happen towards the end of the film that are just a real big surprise to put a big old smile on my face. So like I said, the film looks great, sounds great. Ryan Reynolds, great like usual, big Ryan Reynolds fan. So definitely go check out Free Guy and especially pick it up on 4K. I don't think you're going to be disappointed. 
Like, subscribe, and comment if you get the chance, and I'll catch you in another episode. Take care. Bye.